everybody, this is Bhante Joe here, and this is just a short two-minute video or so for the Buddhist Embassy. And so uh, Visita had asked for a two-minute video on uh, social crisis and how to prevent social crisis. <clears throat> and basically in the Buddhist teachings, one of the main ways to prevent uh, social crisis is virtue. Uh, kind of uh, making sure that uh, one keeps the five precepts very strictly. This is the kind of thing that can be tricky to do <clears throat> because when one is virtuous, then, uh, then what tends to happen is one gets the restraint that one needs to have uh, good things come to one. If one kind of restrains oneself in the five precepts, doesn't kill anything, doesn't lie, doesn't steal, doesn't uh, cheat on one's partner, and doesn't take alcohol, then one gets the kind of energy that one needs to do things that are wholesome. One of the tricky things about this is that when the good results of doing this come, then there can be this temptation to go for things that are quicker and easier instead. So if a person works really hard, for example, gets a good job, starts making money, then that's when the temptation can come up to do things that are quick and easy. Maybe cheat a little bit, maybe cut corners a little bit, do all these various things. And when they first do these things, the good results that came from their virtue don't fall away right away. They fall away slowly over time, and then come completely to a crash. And we can see this both in human history and in the lives of people at large. So in order to prevent social crisis, in order to protect, for, protect oneself from it, to protect society from it, the best thing that one can do individually is to protect one's virtue and to encourage others to protect their virtue. In doing this, this helps to prevent these social crises. This helps to prevent people engaging in immoral actions that bring society down. Bring, uh, engaging in immoral actions that lead society to a crisis. And keeping this kind of restraint in mind helps to stop one from engaging in the temptations that come when one becomes successful, when society becomes successful. Because it's when a society is successful that often, sometimes when these societies are at their peak, especially if one studies Roman history or something like that, then that's when their downfall actually starts to begin. Because people forget about the virtues that led society to become great. So we can protect our virtues and protect ourselves, protect each other, and protect society at the same time. So that's just a short message for the Buddhist uh, embassy, and hope that everybody has a great day, and wishing you all the best till next time.